Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Greetings of peace. Um, have you ever wondered why do we blink and what keeps our eyes clean and why do our eyes always look moist? To answer these questions, let's look at the glands around the eye in more detail. So here we have the eye, and in the upper outer corner we have a gland called the lacrimal gland. Its job is to produce a watery, salty solution that is poured onto the eye and then washes the eye and performs some very important functions, uh, which we're going to list here. So firstly, it will pour through these ducts. You can see it has multiple ducts that drain into the eye. And when you blink, you actually spread this watery, salty solution over the eye. Now, what does that do? Well, for one, it keeps the eye from drying out, so it prevents dehydration. That's very important because if the eye is dehydrated, you will actually not be able to see clearly. Another thing it does is it will wash dirt away. So your eye is always open and it's exposed to dust and whatever else is in the air. So it will wash that away. And it actually protects the surface of the eye from viruses, bacteria, well, mainly bacteria, and any kind of microbes that might be in the air. How does it do that? Well, this water solution actually has many antibacterial proteins in there like lysozymes, etc. And what these do is they function um, like they are antibiotics. So they will kill any bacteria that land on the surface of the eye, thus keeping the eye free of infection. And again, helping you to see, because if you have infection in the eye, you're going to have inflammation, um, blood vessels will form, uh, you will have a lot of swelling and fluid collection in the eye and you will not be able to see. So everything in the eye is directed at allowing you to see really clearly and really well. Now, another amazing thing this watery solution does is you can see this kind of transparent layer, we call this the cornea. This is what allows light into the eye. Now the cornea does not have any blood vessels and so the cells in there still need a source of oxygen and they need a kind of fluid to take the waste from the cells away, which is, this is usually the function of blood. Uh, since we don't have blood vessels in the cornea, the watery solution poured in from the lacrimal gland does this function. It dissolves oxygen from the air and it gives it to these cells here and then it washes away their waste as well. And then when you blink, uh, what you're doing actually, apart from spreading the water from this gland across the eye, you're actually pushing it into this drainage system. Now let's look at this drainage system in a bit more detail. So in the inner corner of the eye here, we have two holes, one hole on top and one hole under. We call these the puncta. Now the puncta are basically the opening onto these uh, small canals. So you have uh, what we call a canaliculus on top and then a canal under as well. And this drains the dirty water out. So when you blink, you push the dirty water through these puncta or through the holes into these little canals. And then the water is drained into this sac, which we call the nasolacrimal sac, and this drains into the nose. So a great question would be, does the water on the surface of the eye from this gland, does that evaporate? Well, it would evaporate, but we have another layer on top. That takes us to our second gland. So if we just go back here, these, uh, this row of glands on the top, and we actually should have a row of them at the bottom as well. These are called the meibomian glands. You have about 25 to 30 of these glands on top, arranged in parallel, and you can think of them as a row of kind of eyedroppers sitting on top of the eye. And what they do is, they produce an oily liquid or oily secretion and again this oil is spread over the eye or is pushed out over the eye when you blink now what's the purpose of this oily solution well for one it prevents the watery layer under it from evaporating which is amazing subhanallah and another thing it does is it seals your eyelids shut when you sleep so if your eyelids were slightly open when you're asleep you'd actually dry out your eye right so at this point you might be thinking it sounds like there's a couple of layers of fluid on top of the eye and you'd be absolutely right so we've just talked about two of them we talked about the watery salty solution and then on top of it is an oily solution now let's look at that actually in cross section and cross section is basically when we look at it from the side as if you sliced it in half and let's see what that actually looks like so this is the lacrimal gland which we said was the in the upper outer corner of the eye and it produces this watery solution and then on top of it you have this oily yellow layer and that is from the meibomian gland we said they are um, above and beneath the eye they actually sat in the eyelid now there's a third layer and this is the most exciting and the most interesting layer for me and that's called the uh, mucus layer or the mucoid layer and that's that pink layer right here so right above the eye touching the eye is the mucus layer now why that's interesting to me is because 
mucus is usually in medicine it's just a boring thing it's just mucus um, it doesn't do much um, it's probably there just to trap particles etc however um, there are actually a lot of functions that this mucus uh, layer does so firstly uh, which gland produces it well here you have the conjunctiva so the conjunctiva is a thin transparent layer on top of the eye uh, you can think of it as a layer of cling film and it covers the visible white part of the eye and then it folds on the insides of the eyelids. And within this conjunctiva, you have um, these cells, which we call goblet cells, that's their name. These goblet cells, they produce the mucus. Now the mucus is a thin, uh, will form a thin sticky layer right on top of this conjunctiva. Uh, and actually the cornea also has a layer of mucus on top of it. So basically mucus is covering the whole visible part of the eye. Now, one thing it does, uh, is it traps bacteria, viruses, dust, anything that blows into the eye um, gets trapped in the mucus layer and then the watery layer on top which we talked about that will wash the uh, dirt and the bacteria away down that drainage system so it's a perfect system. Now another thing this mucus layer does is it allows the watery solution layer on top of it to stick to the eye. Now why is that so interesting? Because actually the surface of the eye is what we call hydrophobic. It repels water and that's because it's made up of cells and cells are covered by cell membranes. Now cell membranes are basically you can think of them as fat and fat does not mix with water. We know that if you pour oil and water they don't mix together. So the surface of the eye actually does not like water. It will actually push water away. The way the watery solution layer stays on top of the eye keeps it moist down there is because of this mucus layer underneath which allows it to stick to the eye that's amazing isn't it SubhanAllah. another thing it does is it also keeps the surface of the eye under it hydrated and moist now another very cool property it has is have you ever thought about why when you blink it doesn't hurt now you are literally dragging something across your eye across the surface of your eye and then you're dragging it back up uh, really quickly and the surface of the eye is extremely sensitive. So how come it doesn't hurt that much? Well, actually it doesn't hurt at all. Well, that's one of the properties of this mucus layer. This mucus layer has a property called viscoelasticity. So it's usually viscous, it's thick, it's sticky um, when it's in the resting state. However, if you drag something across it or if you stretch it, it becomes very smooth and elastic and it takes off all the energy from the um, eyelid. So the eyelid dragging across the eye, it takes that energy off, it takes the sheer forces off it and this energy is not transmitted to the surface of the eye. So the surface of the eye doesn't feel it and that's why you can blink so smoothly. So what that leaves us with is three perfectly designed layers of fluid coating the eye. You have the mucus layer underneath, you have the watery salty solution and then you have the oily solution and together this is called the tear film but that's not a sad movie these are the layers of fluid sitting on top of the eye protecting it and allowing it to perform its vital function of vision that's amazing subhanallah i'll leave you with that and we'll see you next time assalamu